We're with Michaela Fricker and Linnell Decker from the SPU Women's Track Team. These two Falcons getting ready to head to North Carolina for the NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships, both in the 800 meters. Michaela, first, what are, what are you thinking as you're heading into that meet there as far as what's reachable for you and how do you plan what you want to do to get there? Yeah, so going into prelims, um, obviously got to race it like it's a finals. Um, be very aware of the competitors around me and where I'm placing myself in the first um, half of the race and ready for any moves um, that anyone's going to be doing. Um, and then hopefully getting that and heading into finals and doing basically the same thing, racing as hard as I can. Okay. And Linnell, how about you? What are you thinking heading into the meet? Um, about the same. Like, I need to realize that prelims are what determine, like, whether or not you're All-American or not, basically. And um, so I need to race those and, like, approach them with a really good, strong mindset that, hey, this matters. I need to go hard. So it sounds like there's no holding back, even though yeah. it's a prelim. That'd be mm -hmm. fair to say. Basically. Okay. Now this is your second indoors. You got there last year. Are you? How are you feeling heading into this one? Are you more or less nervous than last year? What's, um, uh, what's your mindset? I think the nervous, like amount of nerves, is about the same because it's still a big meet, still a big competition. It's a little bit harder to get in this year, so I know it's going to be faster. Um, I'm less. I'm more excited, I guess, because I know how what to expect and like the atmosphere of. A national indoor meet. Okay. Okay. Well, you were talking about just being aware of everything. In those prelims, do you do you race the clock? Do you race the person around you, or a little bit of both? What's the best way for you? Um, so the first half, I gotta um, know where the pace is at and where the leaders are going at, um, out at, and knowing what's going to be best for me. But other than that, it's completely racing the people in it to get top two, um, and just knowing when to go and yeah, what others are doing. Okay. Now there's four, you kind of right, right within a second of each other. Are you going to be kind of keeping an eye on everybody else or is this all oh, about yeah. focus on your, focusing on yourself here? No, it's going to, when it gets into the finals, it's definitely going to be focusing on where, else, where everyone else is, but also what my strategy is during the race too and knowing when I'm going to go and um, how that's going to look too, but got to, got to keep in mind who else is riding against me. All right. We have a three-hour time difference here. You're losing three hours. Do you think that might make any difference at all or not? Well, Linnell, I'll start with you on that one. Hopefully not. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we still have two days to get used to it, so okay. that will certainly help. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to be mind over matter, I guess. Okay. Michaela, kind of the same thought on that one? Yeah, I haven't really thought about that too yeah, much. Exactly. Might need to uh, start thinking about might it. Might need to watch out with... Um, when to go to bed and when to wake up and maybe even keep it more on our time, our schedule, okay. um, and maybe not make such a drastic three-hour change because we race around 5 p.m., which will be around 2 p.m. per here. Um, so really going to bed and waking up isn't going to make the biggest difference. Okay. If it was an early morning race, then it would be more concerned. All right. 